Sometimes you feel discomfort when dealing with few stakeholders. The flow of the project feels stuck due to apathy, hostility, and resistance. And you feel high project pressure? Welcome all. This short discussion is on how to deal with challenging stakeholders. I am Rashmi. Let us get started. To know how to deal with challenging stakeholders, we need to understand two things first. Who are the stakeholders and what is their interest in? One can identify n number of stakeholders who are related directly or indirectly to the project. They can be your boss, senior executives, your co-workers, your team, customers, prospective customers, shareholders, alliance partners, suppliers, analysts, government, public, key advisors, and so many. Stakeholders can be both organizations and people. Either case, you need to communicate and interact with people. So, it is really important to realize who is your correct stakeholder. Studies show there are five important stakeholders for a project. We have summarized them as project manager, project team, functional management, sponsors, and customers. You can classify them as internal or external, depending upon their direct interest in the project. Challenging stakeholders. There could be several factors which make the interaction with the stakeholders challenging. It can be due to environmental factors like unknown stakeholders or role versus project pressure. Or it can be due to behavioral factor that is lack of proper communication and or mistrust. Or sometimes it is due to the person's attitude too. And again, these can occur due to multiple reasons. Maybe the stakeholders are traveling a lot and hence not able to give proper time and interest in the project. Or maybe different meetings are consuming their significant amount of time. Or the stakeholder is far too demanding. They want some or the other changes in your delivered tasks or they have clash of interest with you. Or maybe a lot of other processes are in pipeline and they are again not getting sufficient time to focus upon. Whatever is the reason, a devised strategy will always be helpful to deal with tough stakeholders. Strategies. We have put together a few strategies here to help you with. Stakeholder as a person. Try to figure out what kind of a person is this a stakeholder. Is he, she, a process oriented, data oriented or result oriented? In fewer interactions, you will get to know what level of detailed updates he, she requires. Communication. Using right words and know where and how to use it. Many stakeholders don't want to be bombarded with overwhelming push communications. Check for those mails, chats, messages. Are they really necessary to be sent out to them? Check on your communications, ensure you are not sending too many open-ended questions. Try to club all the questions together with proper analysis. Organize the questions, then send out the email. In case you feel not comfortable with the situation, keep a check on your self-control. Do not deal with issues when you are upset or feel like you are losing control. Reschedule the meetings. Postpone sending out any kind of communication then. Accepting their authority. Psychology says there is a fine line between being authoritative and being egoistic. One should understand and accept the authority of the stakeholder. Many a times a stakeholder needs to put the food down to take a decision. But this does not mean that the stakeholder is negative. Do not take things personally. Being honest. Everyone respects honesty. Be clear with your project status. Don't hide anything from the stakeholder. Let the concerned people know the issues if you have any. Do not manipulate stuffs. Building trust. It is not simple to build trust, but neither it is difficult. This will help in developing rapport with the stakeholder. Being a business analyst, you are influential. Use this potential to interact with the stakeholders. If they want formal meetings, set it. If they are okay with informal ones, 
it is okay. Ensure you both are professional and not crossing organization's limit. Interest and power. As the old saying goes, prevention is better than cure. If you can keep the stakeholders engaged for their interest, it will work wonders for the project. Behavioral science is quite subjective and dealing with challenging stakeholders can be subjective too. In one of these studies, Mendelaw AL has come up with a simple representation of stakeholders' power as in the authority and their way of scanning the environment. Researchers have further simplified this in terms of power and interest as this. Now let us see which stakeholder to focus on depending upon the power and interest in the project. High power, highly interested people. Manage them closely. These are the people you should always satisfy. The stake of project depends mainly upon them. Project manager could be one of them. Update them with minute details of the project progress. Set up regular meetings with them. Get their feedback for the project's interest. Few of the high profile stakeholders like VP, director also fall under this category. Although you should never over communicate but always be ready to send the summary of data analysis and so on. You can ask them what further details you would need, they would need from you. High power, less interested people. Keep them satisfied. These kind people should be satisfied, but they might not want to be bombarded with your detailed communications. These are the ones who don't want too many details. They want crisp updates of progress. Business managers or high profile stakeholders and sponsors are one of them. Low power, highly interested people. Just keep them informed. People who are interested in project execution, even though not directly related to the project, maybe because the project was initially their brainchild, or maybe the technology involved in the project keeps them interested, or maybe some other reason. You can keep these stakeholders in loop for all the progress but don't bother too much for them as you might get too little from them for the effort and time you would have put in low power less interested people just monitor keep monitoring these people again don't bother much for these stakeholders let us take one scenario you are in middle of the project the project dashboard has a list with few untouched items which are kept on hold. The newsprint has workable items which now depend upon this mentioned list. After analysis, you realized working upon this old list will be a mini project in itself. You need to take decision to put hold on the work on the current work and let the identified mini project get executed first. You need approval from the business for this decision as they are the sponsors for the new work. You have sent out two to three different mails to the business person and also messaged him her but didn't get any response yet. Worst, you have called him her and there is no call back. This is non-responsive stakeholder. So here are few strategies you can apply to this situation. Don't assume that he, she is not responding back to you. There could be several genuine reasons for the response getting delayed. Try to sell the work for the benefit of the business. Keep SME in loop. Explain the benefits to the stakeholders if it is done and concerns if it is not done. You can mail them or call them. In case the stakeholder is not getting time to call you back, you can drop a voicemail and request a reply in a voicemail only. Keep calm while sending out the reminder mails. Two to three reminders are good. Be soft with the words. And last, take your wise intuitive decision to escalate to the higher authority. If supervisors are involved, employees do behave properly. Nobody wants to have overwhelming communication. Choose your audience wisely. This will help you to build a great relation with the stakeholders. As mentioned earlier, dealing with people is quite subjective. But if you know how to communicate effectively, it certainly will help. We hope this video was helped you. We will be delighted to answer your doubts and queries. Thanks for watching this video.